fill y'all in on something. A lot of women refuse to go to therapy and don't want to go to therapy because it will cause them to stop living out of a victim mentality. Have a good day. Ladies, a lot of y'all see a man controlling certain things in a relationship as a bad thing. It's not that he's controlling you as a person, but when it boils down to it, a man cannot lead what he can't control. So if you feel like you have to have the last word, if you feel like you have to always uh, control the outcome of things, then you are not ready for a man to lead you. You are not ready to submit to a man that is willing to provide and protect you. You are not ready. So until you are ready to submit to a man and let, and until you are ready to have, uh, uh, to relinquish some sort of control to that man, then you should stay away from good men because good men are going to provide, good men are going to protect, and good men are going to lead. Ladies, I have a question. If you are not willing to take accountability and accept responsibility for your actions, how do you expect to grow as a person? Nobody is perfect. We all have made mistakes. Nobody has arrived. It's neither here nor there. The fact that we have to take responsibility for our actions. You, you, you can't sit up there and say that you want to create change within yourself. You can't sit up there and say that you want to be a better you for yourself and those around you unless you're ready to take responsibility for yourself. The word accountability comes with action. You can say that you're going to take accountability all you want to, but until you actually display the actions, then you're not going to get anywhere and you're not going to grow. And he's going to keep on being frustrated with you and then he's going to end up leaving you. Ladies, learn how to take accountability for your actions and your words. Why is it that every time a man brings up something that he's concerned about or wants to address something that's bothering him, you always turn the table on what's going on with you, what you want, what you need, and you always disregarding what he wants. You don't listen. You don't pay attention. If you paid attention, half the stuff that's on his mind, you would already know. Go get the f Let me tell you something. You can't continue to tell this man that you love him and that you care about him and that you value him and, and, and tell him that you know his worth when you don't ask him what makes him happy. You're not attentive to his needs. You don't pay attention to what he likes and go out and purchase something for him or send him a surprise gift or show up at work and top him off. God forbid on his lunch just because, you know, just because you want to be that person to him. There are so many things that you can do for him, yet you sit up here and you look at him and you judge him and you criticize him for the things that you feel like he's not, but you don't give him credit for the things that he already is. So when your person, when your man leaves, when he goes to find somebody else, or when he gets tired of you, don't say that you did all you could because you neglected him. You neglected his wants and his needs. You know, another thing that's weird to me is the fact that, ladies, y'all will sit up there and you will accuse this man of stepping out. You will accuse him of doing stuff. You will accuse him of being with a woman, even though he may be out with the boys. They may be out at an event. They may be out having a drink. They may be out playing golf. They may be out bowling. They may be out fishing. But you accuse this man time and time and time and time again. But then this man ain't even doing nothing. So what do you say to the fact that you may have driven him to step out of the connection? No, you don't control what he does, right? No, you can't. You may not be able to control the actions that he takes. But what do you expect him to do when you are constantly accusing this man of stepping out? So what if he makes it a prophecy and actually does it? The people around you have all these different expectations that they have put on you, not even knowing what you are going through mentally and psychologically and emotionally, not even knowing that you've been contemplating certain things, not even knowing that that it's so difficult for you to even get up some days in order to have uh, in order to provide for them.
not knowing that you're the only one that's keeping yourself from these dark spaces and places that you have once been in, like the pits, the dark pits. And so, guys, I just want to encourage you, do not let people around you put pressure on you so much and don't even put it on yourself so much that you take yourself back to that space or you allow yourself to get back into that space where you know you can't dig yourself out of. Um, but yeah, guys, be encouraged today. You know, there are certain things that, that have to be taken care of, but, but, you know, and even for those of you that are dependent upon a man right now, make sure that you're checking in with his mental space. Make sure that you're providing the every single thing that you can that can help him be able to go out and provide financially the way he wants to and the way he needs to. Because a lot of y'all, what happens is you need him and want him to provide for you financially, but then his mental space and checking in with him and checking on him, making sure he made it to his uh, place of employment, making sure you know that he doesn't need anything as far as emotional support, making sure that he's up to par psychologically. Check on him. You know, a, a lot of times, so many of y'all depend on people financially, but yet then be the last people you check on. You check on your social media friends, you check on your family, you check on your besties, but, but then the one that's providing for you, you don't check on them. Make sure that you're checking on your people and guys, do not allow yourself to get into that space. Don't Don't allow that pressure to take you down and take you out. Have a good day. And ladies, let me just put this bug in your ear. This man done bent over backwards. He done taken on the whole world for you. He done sat up there and, and shown you respect and shown you that shown you that that he's going to be a protector and a provider. And he's held up his end of the deal. But now that he's going through something emotionally, now that he's going through something financially, now that he's going through a change within his career, now you don't have his back. You ain't nowhere to be found. He was the only one that you could turn to. But yet now that he's going through this, you ain't nowhere to be found. But the sad part about that is that he has to suck it up. He has to accept it. He has to go through this alone. And you know what? Y'all don't even understand that going through stuff like this can turn a man into a monster. He can either take himself out or he could take somebody else out. So unless that man has it in him or unless he or unless he gets the help that he needs to to have that staying power and to have that grounding power so that he doesn't do something out of character, he has to make sure that his spirit is intact. He has to make sure that he's doing exactly what he needs to do for himself, even if that means he has no support from you. So, ladies, when you say that, oh, you're going to stand in his corner, you're going to stand by him. I'm going to stand beside him. I'm going to stand on business. I'm going to be here. But then yet he has to go through this emotional turmoil by himself. He has to go through getting back on his feet by himself. All the people that accepted him before now rejecting him and neglecting him and disrespecting him, including you. Get the fuck out of here. And ladies, let me just put this bug in your ear. This man done bent over backwards. He done taken on the whole world for you. He done sat up there and, and shown you respect and shown you that shown you that that he's going to be a protector and a provider. And he's held up his end of the deal. But now that he's going through something emotionally, now that he's going through something financially, now that he's going through a change within his career, now you don't have his back. You ain't nowhere to be found. He was the only one that you could turn to. But yet now that he's going through this, you ain't nowhere to be found. But the sad part about that is that he has to suck it up. He has to accept it. He has to go through this alone. And you know what? Y'all don't even understand that going through stuff like this can turn a man into a monster. He can either take himself out or he could take somebody else out. So unless that man has it in him or unless he, or unless he gets the help that he needs to to have that staying power and to have that grounding power so that he doesn't do something out of character. He has to make sure that his spirit is intact. He has to make sure that he's doing exactly what he needs to do for himself, even if that means he has no support from you. So, ladies, when you say that, oh, you're going to stand in his corner, you're going to stand by him. I'm going to stand beside him. I'm going to stand on business. I'm going to be here. 
But then yet he has to go through this emotional turmoil by himself. He has to go through getting back on his feet by himself. All the people that accepted him before now rejecting him and neglecting him and disrespecting him, including you. Get the fuck out of here. You know what's funny, y'all? I get this all the time. And, you know, when I say that, like, I was chosen to do this, that is the reason why it comes so effortless, effortlessly, eh, effortlessly to me, you guys. And I'm not going back and editing or deleting this shit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's when you're chosen for something, that is how it happens. Like I'm passionate about what I do. I was chosen for this. Um, there is certain wisdom and knowledge that's been passed on. To but also something I want the ladies to understand you guys too, but especially ladies, I wasn't always this way. It took so much of me doing my own internal work to be able to get here. It took me being realistic about what I had experienced in my childhood and adolescent and from previous partners to be able to get here. It took me really digging deep and figuring myself out. It took journaling, it took therapy, it took uh, late nights and early mornings. It took sleepless nights, it took um, me having people around me that weren't yes men, people that were calling me out on my shit. It took me, you know, um, real work, real work and, and, and time to be able to get here. Like there's some of the things that I talk about that, that I'm not proud of that I did, but it was part of my journey. It was part of my process in getting here. That's why I'm able to help the guys and the ladies that I am helping today. That's how I'm able to save lives. Like I've walked through some of this stuff. I've had family members and friends who have walked through some of this stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm the voice, I'm the personality, I'm the face, but at the end of the day, it took hard work for me to get here, y'all. But I appreciate you. I was not a man in my former life but I do understand men at an uncanny level. And, you know, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I thank you for your love, for your support, for your encouragement. I thank y'all for sharing. But yes, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Have a good day. Ladies, y'all know what's sad is that y'all be so busy promoting and putting to the front coworkers, your boss, your pastor, and everybody else around you that you can't even put your man to the forefront. You won't even put your spouse first. You won't even put your husband first, but yet you promote every single body else. You hold them to a high standard. You put them on a certain pedestal, but yet your man is back here like, hey, do you see me? Here I am. The one that cooks, the one that cleans, the one that pays your bills, the one that's there for you when you be crying, the one that's there for you when you got woes at work, the one that's there for you when everybody else has left you. Y'all promote everybody else except for your man. Why? Get the fuck out of here. Y'all know what's sad? Is that so many of our men walk around being failed by those around them. And y'all want to know what I mean by that? It's the fact that so many men, they will go to their family members or to their friends. Their confidants. And they have all this heaviness on them. They have this depression they have this anxiety a lot of them go through a lot of insomnia and they have all this stuff going on internally with them yet they don't really have nobody to go to and the people that they do feel confident and comfortable going to they end up sometimes telling them oh well, i don't want to hear about it oh depression ain't real oh pick yourself up by your bootstraps oh um you got to just pull yourself through it and sometimes you will have family members or friends say, well, you know what, that's that it's exhausted me to hear you say that you're going through this. So this is why I do what I do. You guys, what is a man supposed to do when he has nowhere else to turn when the people that are closest to him don't understand it? They don't realize it. They don't want to hear it. What are men supposed to do? Why do y'all think that men take themselves out so often? It's because they deal with this heaviness and nine times out of 10, they deal with the heaviness all on their own. Have a good day. Can we just cut the shit about men not being abused? Women abuse men every single day. They psychologically abuse them. They emotionally abuse them. They verbally abuse them. They financially abuse them. And they physically abuse men. Get the fuck out of here.